ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown and here we are in Mass Effect Andromeda for episode 4 of my NVIDIA series showing what three different NVIDIA graphics cards can do in this game. So let's first start out then with talking about the game itself. Uh, so it's a fun open world game, there's lots to do, it takes quite a while to complete as well, especially if you're doing all the side missions and additional missions, so that's quite fun. Uh, you fly around in your ship called the Tempest, um, it's quite a cool ship, the layout's quite good inside as well, you can uh, walk around it and that like you could in the previous games, so that's quite fun. When you compare the game uh, to Mass Effect 3, which I went back and played after I had played um, Andromeda, I would say that the gameplay is improved in Andromeda. It's less stop-start, although you can you can't use as many abilities, but it's more flowing. It's kind of more a bit more action-paced, I thought, in terms of the actual gameplay. But where it falls down is to do with the story um, and the characters in general. They're much more bland, less interesting, and there's less drama going on with them than in Mass Effect 3. Also, the animation wasn't very good, at least when I was playing it, because I started playing it from day one. And that me, uh, leads me to the bugs. So, yeah, it was pretty buggy from the start. It's gotten better now that there's been a few updates, but boy, it was pretty bad at the start there. And as far as optimization goes, um, it's pretty good, but it definitely could be better. Um, I would say it's just kind of middle of the road. I think with more updates, it will also get better, but right now it's only sort of okay. So overall, I would say it is a good game, and I did enjoy it, uh, but I would probably still wait like another month or two if you haven't bought it yet. Um, to buy it. So there's just a few more updates to come out. They've fixed the majority of the bugs then and then it should be quite good. Now in terms of the actual testing for this I went to my outpost on Prodromos and I did basically a run around the base. I thought this is pretty fair because there's quite a bit going on. I just followed one of the tire tracks and I just ran around the base basically. So that was quite good. Uh, as far as my test rig goes, obviously it's my personal rig, so running the i7-6900K at 4.2 GHz on my MSI X99A Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard, and power supply wise we have the Corsair HX1000i and some Corsair Dominator DDR4 memory of 32 GB quad channel kit uh, running at 2800 MHz. And also for all these tests, I turn resolution scaling off, as uh, I would tell you guys to do. If you set it to ultra, it turns it off automatically, but I just made sure it was off for all of my testing so there was no funny business going on. So let's start then with the smallest card we're going to be checking out today. So we'll check out the uh, GTX 1060, GTX 1070, and GTX 1080. Uh, these were provided by Gigabyte, so these are all their G1 gaming models. But yeah, we'll start with the GTX 1060 here, the value for money graphics card. So we see at 1080p on Ultra, that'll be very solid for 60Hz 1080p gaming. The minimums dip a little bit, but that's not too bad. If you really have a problem with it, then you can set it down to high. As you see, the minimum never dropped below 60. And at the optimized settings, that would be a bit better there for people running uh, higher refresh rate monitors that don't really want to destroy too much of the graphics settings by getting those higher frame rates. So that's the one I would recommend that's optimized within GeForce Experience. When we jump up to 1440p, uh, it's not too good on Ultra. You, you, it's going to be stuttering if you're hoping for 60 FPS plus, and even when we drop it to high, it's not ideal. Optimize is a bit better, but maybe I would still drop down the filters just a little bit, and that should keep you um, within that 60 FPS range. At 4K, there's just no point. <laughs> I didn't even bother trying Ultra because I knew it couldn't handle it, and even at medium. Um, it's not really ideal and you have to turn the graphics down so far. It doesn't look particularly good now either So yeah, 4k and Mass Effect Andromeda is a bit beyond the GTX 1060 So let's jump up to its bigger brother the GTX 1070 So at 1080p, it's absolutely spectacular. You see there at on ultra um, 
plenty of frames there, 77 FPS minimum, very, very good performance. If you've got a high refresh rate, like a 144Hz 1080p monitor, then uh, yeah, use a 1080p optimized setting and that will be very solid for you. Now, 1440p, it will do ultra very nicely. You'll see a little bit of dipping now and then, but it's usually not too bad. It, again, if you're gonna have a problem with it, drop it down a high and then you won't see any dips. You can use the optimized setting as well, but it's so close to the high setting, I would just set it to that. And when we go up to 4K, yeah, it's still not ideal. The ultra, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be mega stuttery if you're wanting 60 FPS plus. And even if you're only okay with 30 FPS plus, it's not gonna be ideal. You could drop it down a high and it would be okay. But in general, this isn't really what we want to see if you're wanting to game at 4K at 60 FPS plus. So let's jump up to the biggest brother of these three, the GTX 1080. You see 1080p, it blows through everything just fine, so you'll be able to um, run with whatever uh, monitor you like at 1080p in terms of refresh rate, you should be just fine. Use Optimize if you want to really take advantage of your 144Hz monitor. When we go to 1440p, it's a similar affair. It's very, very good at Ultra, and I would say if you're running a 140, uh, 1440p, 144 hertz monitor then I would use say the high setting and that would be very good or you could use the optimized setting But there's very little difference between them. So it wouldn't really matter and at 4k. It's okay But even on high it's struggling I would say run it on high with the filters off and you should be just fine But really it's still not ideal when I was playing through this game with my GTX 1080 I just set it to 1440p ultra and it was just fine for me and it still looked really good So that's what I would say to do But if you're dead set on playing it uh, at 4k with your GTX 1080 Then I would say just probably put it down to high and then take off all the filters and it should be okay so that should give you an idea there of what you can expect out of the different graphics cards. Basically, the 1060 is very solid at 1080p, what we'd like to see, especially on the Ultra preset. The 1070 is very good at 1080p and decent enough at uh, 1440p, but you probably want to drop it down to high if you don't want to see any dips. And the GTX 1080 does both 1080p and 1440p very, very well and it can do 4K, but you will need to drop those filters off. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative to you and lets you know what sort of performance you can expect out of your NVIDIA graphics cards with this game. Let me know in the comment section down below which game you would like me to check out next. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.